In this video, we're going to be talking about the Cartesian coordinate system, which is just a system that we use to graph individual coordinate points like these ones here. And in this video, we've been asked to plot and label these points. And we also use this system to graph whole equations. Now, you can think about the Cartesian coordinate system as two number lines, one for x and one for y, that are set at a right angle to one another. They're perpendicular, they're at 90 degrees. So we all know about a number line by now. We can pretend that this horizontal line here is basically a number line for x, and this is always going to be the case, the horizontal axis here is the x-axis. So just like a regular number line, the right-hand side over here is going to be the positive direction of the x-axis, the left-hand side over here is going to be the negative direction of the x-axis. And sometimes you'll see both axes with arrows on both ends to indicate that the axes extend in each direction infinitely. So this is infinitely negative here and infinitely negative here, infinitely positive and infinitely positive. Sometimes you'll just see arrows on this corner here and this corner here because these are the positive directions of the x and y axes. And this is going to be our y axis up here. Now what we're going to do is say that the point where they intersect each other, where the x and the y axis intersect each other, is going to be this point in the middle right here we call it the origin and it's the point zero zero this is the point where x is zero and y is zero and then this is going to be the positive direction of the x-axis so we're going to go out one two three four five here in the negative direction this will be negative two negative four and this is remember again the x-axis so this is like the number line for x with zero here in the middle positives on the right and negatives on the left for y this is going to be the point where y is zero and then the positive direction for y is going to be up top here at two positive four down here on the bottom is going to be the negative direction of the y-axis with negative two negative four etc now when we're talking about coordinate points, we always write our coordinate points as x comma y. So in other words, the first value indicates the value for x, the second value indicates the value for y. So when we're talking about the origin, we say x is zero and y is zero. This is zero comma zero or x comma y, where x is zero and where y is zero. That's where the axes meet. We call it the origin. The other thing to know about the Cartesian coordinate system is that the axes divide the grid into four quadrants. And we start in the upper right hand corner, this is the first quadrant, and then we move our way counterclockwise. This is the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. So you'll hear those referred to in that way, so you need to know which quadrant we're talking about when we say the first, second, third, or fourth. In the first quadrant, all of our coordinate points are going to have a positive x value and a positive y value because this is the positive direction of the x-axis and this is the positive direction of the y-axis and these are the two parts of the axes that border the first quadrant. So we have positive and positive. Over here in the second quadrant, we're going to have negative x values and positive y values because this is the negative side of the x-axis and the positive side of the y-axis. Down here, we're going to have negative x values and negative y values because we have the negative side of the x-axis and the negative side of the y-axis. And then here in the fourth quadrant, we're going to have positive x values and negative y values because you can see positive x and negative y. So those are our quadrants, so that'll help give us an idea of where our points should be. Let's go ahead and plot a few points. So we have the point 1, 2. So remember, coordinate points are always listed as x, y. That means that x is positive 1 and y is positive 2. So I want to come out here to positive 1 along the x-axis. We always start at the origin, and then we come out to a distance of 1 here along the x-axis in the positive direction because we're looking for positive 1. Then from this point, not from the origin again, but from this point where I'm at right now, I go up two units in the positive direction of the y-axis because this is positive 2. So I come out to positive 1 and then from there straight up to positive 2 and I plot my point right here and this is the point x equals 1, y equals 2, or we just call it 1, 2. What about 3, 0 here? Well, this is going to be x equals 3, y equals 0. So I come out a distance of 3 along the positive direction of the y-axis from the origin. So 1, 2, 3, I'm right here between 2 and 4. So here's 3. And then y is equal to 0. Well, that means that we're going to stay right along the x-axis. We don't go up in the positive direction of the y-axis or down in the negative direction any distance. We don't go anywhere. We just stay right there. So that's going to be the point 3, 0. What about negative 2, positive 1? Well, remember this is x, y, so x is negative 2 and y is 1. I start at the origin and I want to go in the negative direction of the x-axis 2 units or over to negative 2 on the number line for x or on the x-axis. So that's going to be negative 2 right here. 
and then I want to go up positive 1, the positive direction of the y-axis, that's going to be right here. From that point I go up one unit, this is 1 on the y-axis, so then this point is negative 2, positive 1. And as you can see, that matches the signs that we indicated for the second quadrant here. We knew that our x values would be negative and our y values would be positive, and here we have a negative x value and a positive y value. So negative 1, negative 1. If we look at the signs for each quadrant, we can see that negative 1, negative 1 should be in this quadrant because both x and y are negative, and this is the quadrant where x and y are negative. So let's go ahead and see if it actually is. So we want to start at the origin and go to negative 1 along the x-axis, so that's going to be negative 1 right here. Then from this point, down 1 in the negative direction of the y-axis, and that's going to be right here, negative 1, negative 1, and in fact we can see it is in the third quadrant like we expected. What about 2, negative 3? Well, we're going to go out in the positive direction of the x-axis, 2 units here, and then down in the negative direction of the y-axis, 3 units. So 1, 2, 3, to right about here. And we want to make sure, whenever we're plotting points, that we stay lined up with each of our lines here. So if you can think about it this way, we came out to positive 2, and we want to make sure that we stay lined up with positive 2, and we want to make sure that we stay lined up with negative 3 here, x equals 2 and y equals negative 3, so that this point accurately represents the point 2, negative 3. So those are just some basics about the Cartesian coordinate system and plotting points in the Cartesian coordinate system. Later on, we'll look at graphing in more detail.